Van Jones is one of the most innovative and strategic thinkers of our time. He is what I like to call a magnificent disruptor of the status quo. We have solar power now, wind energy, hybrid this, high performing buildings, organic agriculture. We have the solutions. We have a green wave that's rising. Van Jones has been someone that has always acted and always manifested the change he's tried to seek. And so the idea that he is now focusing so aggressively on climate change and bringing in the issue of social justice, environmental justice, is very meaningful to me because I know this guy is not just a dreamer, he's a doer. At the Ella Baker Center for Human Rights, we've been working to get kids out of jail and into jobs for a very long time. At some point, it, it dawned on me that we should make sure that the jobs we were getting for kids were the best possible jobs possible. I didn't want any pollution-based jobs or exploitation-based jobs, and that's when we came up with the idea of green jobs, not jails. I'm so proud this afternoon to have my studio, someone who's becoming a real bright light, a superstar on the scene in the environmental movement. Man, welcome to the studio. I'm, I'm glad, glad to be here. For too long, we've seen the business community over here Environmentalists over there, labor's over there, mm. civil rights is over there, mm. and guess what? None of us are winning. I think Van's brilliance and his leadership is in what he's been able to do in crossing communities. He has engaged entire communities and people who have not traditionally been involved to believe that we have the capacity to inspire people to develop solutions that are broad enough so that the green wave does lift all boats. We want a green economy that doesn't have any throwaway resources or, or species, but we also don't want any throwaway people, no throwaway children, no throwaway neighborhoods. So that's where we're going. Nothing stops a bullet like a job. Right. And uh, uh, the, the kind of, uh, we have all this work that needs to be done. Uh, if we're gonna survive as a species, we've got, we've got to totally change the way we do energy. Real people are going to have to get up in the morning, put on their work boots, put on their green hard hats, and get out there and do the work. And that's how we beat poverty and pollution at the same time. As a consequence of man, I can't think about the environment. I never now think about the environment without thinking about people. coming into an understanding of how sacred this, this, uh, this place that we live is, and we can't save it without each other. So that's basically the foundation of what my worldview is.